Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Mesa Ridge. Let's check out this model. But again, before we do, right here is the link to my free mobile app. Only works on phone, completely free. You will get home sent to you directly from the MLS before sites like Zillow, Realtor.com. Let's get into this one. So right here, this is the Oak Creek. It's five bed, five and a half bath, three car garage. It is 4,877 square feet. It's huge. This one starts at 1,264,995. Now do me that huge, huge favor. Make sure to hit the like button. It really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. Love this with the three car garage as well. Make sure to subscribe. Again, I try to put videos out every single day. Let's get into this one. So we are in a guard gated community in Summerlin. This is a Toll Brothers build. Again, Mesa Ridge. This is the Skyview Collection coming in. Oh, wow. Look at this. I know people ask me for wow factor. Sorry if the camera is going weird. This definitely has the wow factor. Again, if you were thinking about buying new, want to buy new, if you go in and speak to the sales associates or if you fill out information online, just a little fact, the sales associates represent the builder. They do not represent you. They will not represent you. So if you want representation and fun fact, as the buyer, you do not pay the realtor commission. The builder does. Give me a call. All my info is down in the description below. Should we start down here or should we just go straight on up? Let's go straight on up now. I know in another one that I just filmed, they did the floating staircase. Another one did not. And all right here was your built in like jewelry box wine fridge. It was really cool. It was like a wine cellar. Really, really neat idea. Love the floating stairs though. They even did a concrete floating stair. We'll get up to the top and I will show you these views up here. Again, they have a couple different railing options. Normally it's going to be pony wall. I feel like everyone's either going to want the glass or like the railing just because it's so pretty. Look at all of the windows in here. Just spinning around really quickly. Look at all the windows in here. It's like a glass of house or house of glass. Excuse me. So we'll go across the catwalk, start on that side, work our way back over and head down to that incredible kitchen. Look at the views. These homes are something else. Now I do know with the lot premiums and everything, you're gonna be looking at like high ones, if not low $2 million range for these homes. So coming on down right here, first bedroom. Are these actually, that's real wood, that's real shiplap. It's almost like you're walking into a sauna. It's kind of neat, kind of different. Even did, you can smell it. It's it, the wood smells really good. This room even has a little balcony. I don't know if I'd want that railing with a kid though, but really pretty. You have all the mountains up here spinning on in nice size bedroom. So it's a twin size bed, but you have areas obviously for nightstands. It's really, really whimsical in here. This room would easily fit a nightstand. You could do two. There's a room for a desk, dresser, everything. These rooms are pretty good size. I'm gonna come over here just so you can see. Two nice size windows, but there's a lot of space. There's even this whole little, little sitting area right here. These houses all are en suite bathrooms. So every room has its own bathroom. Right here we have our closet and they did it up with all of the built-ins. Normally you're gonna get a bar and shelf, single bar and shelf, maybe double bar and shelf. I do believe you can ask them to not put that in if you are planning on doing something like this. So that way they don't have to rip it off and then patch and fix. So keep that in mind as well. Right here's our ensuite. So we have our mirror, really nice vanity and I would be surprised if these aren't yeah, these are gonna be the top line drawers at this price point. 
we have our towel bar, toilet, and then it's a cool stone, cool tile. It is 3D, so if the camera is making it look weird, it actually is texture. I don't know if you can see from there. You have your shower head, your valve, your tub filler. The one little minute thing that I wish they did in the models is they wish they put the soap niche, but other than that, they do have the ability to put it in. It's hard to critique these homes. Coming on down. I, yeah, you have to almost go with the glass. Look how open it is. <clears throat> Next bedroom. And this is a big bedroom too. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's like you're at like a dance recital with the whole curtains and everything. It's kind of cool. They even have a step on each side. That's a full size bed. And that just shows you how big these rooms are. They're very, very large. We even have a nice size window over there. Right here is the ensuite. Same exact thing, same cabinet, same sink. I really like these mirrors. They're actually bolted to the wall. It's really cool. I know in the last one they did a picture frame. You have your toilet, you have your unicorn. And then we have our tub shower combo. Again, that's a fiberglass tub. Normally it's gonna be a fiberglass uh, insert, and then you could do stone if you like. We have our shower head, valve. You can even do glass enclosure if you like. I know. I think most people will probably go that way. Glass enclosure with the soap niche <clears throat> or fiberglass. Again, one of the nice things about fiberglass is it's easier to clean. There's no grout. And our built-in with our closet. It's deceiving because the closet looks so small when you look down here. But you have to remember, it goes all the way back there. So it's like another foot deeper. It's just that they have already all the built-ins and they're doing eight foot doors. So up here, these are 10 foot ceilings. And from down to top, I don't know, 20, somewhere around 24, maybe 25 feet. You can hear the echo in here. It's so big. Right here, look at the laundry room right here. So normally you get the space for the washer dryer. They're gonna put a shelf above it, and then you can do all of this. This is all extra. The lowers, the uppers, the sink. I'm gonna guess, again, with these homes being 1.2 and that most people are already in the high, high ones, if not low twos, these models are going to be pushing $3 million. Just a guess. I really like this, this huge, uh, balcony right off this mast or this um, loft. Really cool how they did the lights and everything. This is the best part. It's so funny because that's a nice size TV, but these rooms are so big it makes the TVs look so small. Kind of just a hangout room, nice big loft, lot of windows, a lot of glass. I love that wall, it's really cool. Really quickly, we'll go outside to see. It doesn't look too windy right now. It was windy earlier, but. That slider needs a little oil or something. Big loft right here. The Las Vegas Strip. So most of uh, the lots they're gonna have left are gonna be view lots. I know they're saying that some of them are going to be up to a million dollar premium for just the lot. So keep that in mind. You know, there, I think there's somewhere for the view lot, somewhere between like 300,000 to a million dollars. Look at the bar area. It's very Vegas, it's very cool. Let me know, is this your idea of a home? Do you like the more ultra modern look? Do you like the more traditional look? I don't know. I, visually, these are absolutely Dunning, like architectural everything. You almost don't know where to look. Like a kid in the candy store. But I wanna know, is this your idea or your ideal home? Leave a comment down below. I like how they did this with all the wood. It's almost like you're going into like a theater. Coming in, again, do me that huge favor and hit the like button. It really, really does help out the channel. Leave a comment. 
nice size bedroom. Wow. So they did the slider. There's a lot of glass on that back wall. They even did a fireplace TV all spin around, but that's a king size bed. There's two nightstands. There's a whole couch in here, dresser. And then right behind me, when I spin around, you'll see there's a whole little like breakfast bar area. So these ceilings are probably, I don't know, 12 feet tall. Another little sitting area, whole coffee bar area. They did the lowers, they did the uppers. They have the huge fireplace. And I think these are something like $20,000 because they are gas, they are real. And again, the TV is probably a 55 inch TV and it just, the wall makes it look tiny. They even did a TV outside. I know you even have the ability to do a fireplace outside. And again, your views. Even there, I have the camera zoomed all the way out and you can see, and they even tiled outside. So there is a lot of options and upgrades in these homes. One more quick pan and we'll head into the bathroom. I like this, this cow or the bed posts coming across. So we have our two closets. And again, they did all of the built-ins. So it is a smaller closet, but again, don't be deceived because all of the extra goodies that they already have, they have all the shoe organizers and spinning 180. This closet is quite a bit larger. Huh? So definitely one gets the big closet, one gets the smaller closet. Coming on out. And I'm guessing, yep, I've seen a couple of these models. One toilet, and what's funny is even the toilet, this side, you get a smaller amount of space in the toilets. Because that is a huge room. You can almost like jog to the door. And then look at this, I love all of the windows. <sighs> I know I like to joke about the Vegas windows, it depends on how far away the lot's gonna be and everything. It really depends on where they're going to be as far as if you're gonna need privacy windows or whatnot. I feel like a lot of people will want it on the door just because you can see all the way in. And then you have a whole sitting area in here. You could put another couch in here. You have your first vanity, second vanity. This one looks to be slightly bigger. They did vessel sinks, really, really cool stonework. I don't know if it's coming out on camera. Almost looks like it's a little bit crazier, but it's really, really neat person. There are sinks, lots of counter space. What would you do right here? Cause I know you have to open the door. But right here we have our second vanity. Again, same countertops, same sink. I do love the fact, and I'm starting to notice it over here. They did lights behind the mirror and it's spilling the light onto the wall. Here, I'll show you on this one. You can kind of see it barely here, but you see it more right here. So there's lights all behind the glass. Cool idea. Spinning around some more. That is gonna be some interesting tile to clean because it has all the little cracks and little nooks and um, crannies, but it is really cool. They even did it up here. Huge tub. Really, really big tub. They even continued the bench from inside the shower all the way out. And they tiled every single little bit of this room minus right here and right there. Wow. You could go swimming in this tub. Right here we have our toweling off area and towel bar that makes sense right in the toweling off area. You have your double valves. One for the rain shower head, one for the regular shower head. Now you can even add more shower heads if you so choose. Nice big bench. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard to complain when it looks like this. Would you want to make a vanity in here? I know I've been told by my fiance that usually you don't want it in the bathroom because the moisture could mess up all your makeup. I don't know. Let me know down below.
where are we going? It's like a maze almost, it's so big. Let's go ahead and head on downstairs, check out the rest of the house. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever, please reach out to me, all my contact info down in the description below. I would love to help you out in any way possible. Again, do me that other favor and hit the like button. It really, really helps out the channel. Look at this. Wow. Before we check out this, right here, what do we have this way? So right past the front door, we have our first downstairs bedroom. And the ceilings in here are absolutely massive. I'll have to come in the room to check. Full size bed, two nightstands. The room is definitely one of the smaller that we've seen so far. It's just with the ceilings, it feels so much bigger because mm, you could probably mm, maybe fit a desk there, but I feel like most people are probably gonna use this as a guest room. Love the chandelier. So those are eight foot doors. These are probably uh, may maybe pushing 13 feet. They're definitely 12 if not 13 feet tall. Right there we have our bathroom. We'll check it out here in just a second. Right here we have our closet. And again, these are big closets just because you'll see when I pan up how much room is behind it. I really like the built-ins. Spinning on back around into our bathroom. This is very nice. So they used a different stone undermounted sink we have our cabinets and they're almost like an off-white. They're not true white, they're like a little bit of a cream or eggshell. You have your toilet area. And then we have on this one, which makes so much sense, a shower only. You can even see they put the bench because normally if they put a tub, that's how wide a tub is. It wouldn't fit in here. So it's a nice size bathroom. I know you have the ability to get in soap niche. And if you wanna add extra shower heads, you can do that as well. But really nice bathroom. I would. I would have loved this as a child. Coming back out right here, this is our coat closet. They've set it up to be the AV room, the audio video controls, all the brains of the house. We have a little nook area for some built-ins. Again, there's our garage. They did the lowers and the uppers. And then right here is our powder room. So we have our vanity, our toilet, I don't know how the wallpaper, actually, you know what? This seems like it's looking normal or okay. I know sometimes when I film wallpapers, they look really, really odd. Look at the light they used. Wow. Everything is just massive in these homes. A very unique mirror. Coming on out and into the rest of the home. So, so coming back out, wow. Where to begin? So they did this awesome built-in bar right there. That's our two-car garage. I'm gonna walk around the dining space. It's kind of interesting that the dining space is right in the middle, but I mean, the house does make sense. I like how it's different. Ooh, actually before we see the bar, they did a gas fireplace right here that's actually passed through. Let's check out what's in here. So, so cool lounge billiard room. This is pretty neat. They even did the slider over there. What a cool hangout area. And it's a very, very large room. Let's see, there's still like two, four, like six feet on the side of the table, on that side of the table as well. Like cocktail hour. Oh, this is totally the fun room. And again, it's so funny because there's two TVs up there and they still look small. It's just everything in these homes is so big. We'll go out here outside in a minute. Coming on down here, we have... Oh, so they did uh, wine, beer, and then cigar humidor. Coming into here, so... This is actually a bedroom but they've turned it into a whole lounge. 
Hmm. You almost could do like a next gen coming in from the patio because the gate's on that side. Then you have this whole cupboard. Oh yeah. If you wanted to, you could potentially do this as a next gen because then the only thing that would be a little bit weird is instead of coming in through the living space, which would be that other room, you could come in to the bedroom because right here is the ensuite. Oh, I like this down. Really neat. Oh, and it's even textured. It's super, super cool. You have your cabinets, you have your toilet. The only thing I would change, and it's just because of this room, I would do a shower only. No tub. Just because again, it's easier to get in and out of, especially on the first floor. You have your shower head. That is like the one thing I would change. And then straight across, we have our closet. Nice built-ins. Hmm. Well, how would you lay this out? I'm very curious because the fact that there's a bedroom here and then that whole lounge area, I want to know how would you do this? Would you lay it out like them where there's two separate kind of pun rooms? Would you do this? So you have one slider that opens, another slider that opens, another slider that opens, and another slider that opens. <laughs> really quickly, while we're right here, let's go ahead and go on our back. Now, I know I say in most of my videos, the average backyard out here is somewhere around thirteen dollars to $15,000. Now, there's nothing average about any of these homes, these yards, these prices. They're quite a bit more than the average home out here. So, just want to let you know, it's very, very easy for these backyards to go up into the $200,000 range. Easy, one hundred, dollars but they can go up to two. So, when you buy new, it's going to be dirt. You won't get anything back here except for just dirt and gravel. It is your responsibility to finish it however you so please. They did a whole outdoor kitchen area, outdoor dining area. They even have the TV. Eventually these walls will be normal height. They're just showing off the model so you can see all the way across. But cool pool, even fireplace, it is gas. See so if your deeper end. It's really neat with that whole like sitting area up there. And then that whole area, I don't know if you can see on camera right now, it is a, a tanning shelf. So you can put an umbrella up there or even a chair in the pool and it's not that deep. Coming back on in, and I actually want to spin around to show you something really cool. Now, these are totally options. You'll see it there, how it almost looks like there's glass windows up top. They're actually part of the slider. So the entire wall opens up. Normally it won't. If you get the standard height sliders, they're only going to come to this bar. So, uh, that would be a hard thing to pass up. But again, when you start putting every single option to the home, you're gonna have to come out of pocket. Now, if you're paying cash and you don't care, then by all means, put whatever you want. But if you are getting a loan, just note that these homes could potentially not appraise depending on how much you put into them. Really quickly, while right here again, we have our living space area. I love all of the windows. I don't know how it normally would come. I hope it comes all the windows because it is something spectacular with all the natural light. Again, you can open up all three walls right here. You go open up that wall in that lounge room. I would put a projector on one of these because that's again, probably a 65 inch, maybe even bigger, but these walls just make them feel like little 42 inch TVs. And then from over here, you have your views. Again, dining area right here. They did a whole bar area. It's definitely a Vegas house the way that they've set it up. They have the bar here, they have the whole lounge in there, and then like the second lounge. Normally you won't get this. They did the beer and wine fridge, all of the extra storage down below. You have all of your glassware area, and then even a sink. Love the floating staircases. It really is something else to see in person. It's like probably because of the way the roof is shaped. I don't know, 30 foot ceilings, maybe even a little bit more. Here we have our kitchen. It's really unique that they're doing this. I wanna make sure I'm not getting like all the sunlight. There's no upper cabinets on these models. It's really different, kind of cool. 
I know I personally would want the storage, but with this, you have all the storage here. You have the storage back there. There's a lot of storage, including the pantry, where you almost don't even need those cabinets. So we have fridge, freezer, wine fridge. We have, <laughs> this is cool. If you've never seen one of these before, this is an espresso machine. So built-in espresso machine. It looks like, I bet, is it? No, it's just a regular microwave. I thought for a second it might be a convection microwave. Then we did two-tone. So they did white with gray vein and then black. They did cream and they did brown. So they did reverse tones on it. I kind of like it. Before we check out the rest of the kitchen, right here's our pantry and they did it up as well. Oh, it's, wow. So they have all of the wine area. It's almost like a little like tasting room in here. Jeez. There is so much storage in here. You would be able to save all of the toilet paper for the next run on it. Really neat. Again, normally it's gonna be all the white shelving. All of the lowers, normally you'll have the uppers. They tiled absolutely everything in here. Huge vent hood. Oh, they threw in the ice maker. That's an awesome option to have. So you can do double dishwasher if you like. You could do single dishwasher. Before I check out the sink, I just wanna show you this. This is an ice maker. So, love that option. More storage. Here is our sink. And they have a bunch of different options for sinks. I wanna know where they got all these pendant lights. There is your view from your sink. We come on back. We have double wolf oven, six burners, plus the huge grill right in the middle. The only thing on, I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a second. We have a huge, huge vent hood. But the only thing that I wish they did different, hold on, let me put my paper down, is, and I've shown this in other houses, it's just, it's a little too tight in here. It actually touches. That's the only complaint I have. The island's too close to the countertop. Because there is so much space out here. I would move the island like, I don't know, two feet out. I don't know, how often would do you keep the dishwasher and the oven open? It's just, again, let me know if that bugs you. Does it matter? Is it an issue? I want to hear what you guys have to say down in the comments below. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever, all my contact info is down in the description below. would love to hear from you. love to help you out. It's pretty wow. Everything is just bigger in this house. Again, do me that huge favor. Hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.